What's up? I'm Brianna and today I'm going to be giving you a tour of my bookshelf. I have a lot of books so let's just get started right now. So first I will go through and show you each individual shelf and then I'll go through and show you all of the books on that shelf. So up here we have this little owl that my cousin gave me to put on my bookshelf and I told her that I would. Then we have the complete works of William Shakespeare. Grimm's Complete Fairy Tales, Hans Christian Andersen's Best Love Fairy Tales, and then we have my complete box set of H.G. Wells. I'm not going to take them out and show you because it's wrapped, but we have The War of the Worlds, The Time Machine, The Invisible Man, The Island of Dr. Moreau, The First Men in the Moon, The Food of the Gods, and In the Days of the comet. And then we have this edition of The Time Machine by H.G. Wells. The West End Horror, a posthumous memoir of John H. Watson by Nicholas Meyer. The Siren by Kiera Cass. The Good Guy by Dean Koontz. Walk on Earth, A Stranger by Ray Carson. And the book I'm doing a giveaway for, The Love That Split the World by Emily Henry. We have my little beanie boo that my husband got for me with my Later's Baby pin on it from Fifty Shades of Grey. And then we have my Unity candle from my wedding day. We have my bookmark mug that has my wedding photo on it. And this little elephant statue that my cousins got to me for a wedding gift and elephants are my second favorite animal, so I love it. For the books we have on that top shelf, we have Twilight, New Moon, Eclipse, Breaking Dawn, The Short Second Life of Brie Tanner, and The Official Illustrated Guide, all by Stephanie Meyer. The Nevermore Trilogy, beginning with Nevermore, in Shadowed and Oblivion, all by Kelly Krieg. And finally on that top shelf we have the spin-off series of Beautiful Creatures, starting with Dangerous Creatures, and then Dangerous Deception by Cami Garcia and Margaret Stoll. Now we are on the first shelf of my rainbow bookshelf, starting with pink, red, and the beginning of orange. And on here we have my little rainbow flask, which is very cute. We have my Ariel Pop. A little stone that's shaped like a heart that my brother's mom gave to me a long time ago. We have our Deadpool figurine from this month's Loot Crate, my little Pumbaa Pop, and this little metal bridge with my sister's family on it. Starting on this shelf we have Alice's Adventures in Wonderland and other classic works by Lewis Carroll. The Merciless by Danielle Vega. Prisoners in the Palace by Michaela McCall, Candy by Kevin Brooks, The Husband by Dean Koontz, Mouse, A Survivor's Tale number 1 and 2 graphic novels, The Da Vinci Code by Dan Brown, The Symptoms of My Insanity by Mindy Raff, Why We Broke Up by Daniel Handler aka Lemony Snicket, and Art is by Mara Kalman. The first book in the Red Rising trilogy by Pierce Brown. It is Red Rising. Illuminae, The Illuminae Files, number one by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. Allegiant, the third book in the Divergent series. I only have this one and four, and I know I haven't read it yet, but it is signed. The Dead Girls of Hysteria Hall by Katie Allender. The Scorpio Races by Maggie Stiefvater. After Hello by Lisa Mangum. And I had the pleasure of meeting Lisa Mangum herself. She is very kind and signed this book for me. Inkheart by Cornelia Funk, the first book in the Inkheart trilogy. I think it's called Inkheart or Ink Spell or something. My Dover Thrift Edition of Hamlet by William Shakespeare. 50 Essays, a Portable Anthology by Samuel Cohen and a bunch of other people. The Giver, the first book in the Giver Quartet by Lewis Lowry. And finally, The Casual Vacancy, Vacancy by J.K. Rowling. Moving on to my next shelf, which is the start of yellow after orange and moves on to green and blue and on here we have my little metal 
Millennium Falcon, my pop of Gus Gus in Cinderella's shoe, and my classic television Joker pop. We start off this shelf with Winnie the Pooh by A.A. A. Milne, Wuthering Heights by Emily Bronte, Intensity by Dean Koontz, Pride and Prejudice, the Barnes & Noble edition by Jane Austen, Reunited by Hilary Wiseman Graham, The Hunt for Planet X, New Worlds, and the Fate of Pluto, which is a nonfiction by Govert Schilling, This Little Kids edition of National Geographic Mummies by Elizabeth Carney, Because of Winn-Dixie by Kate DiCamillo, Sold by Patricia McCormick, this mass market paperback edition of The Bad Place by Dean Koontz. Only Everything, the first book in this trilogy by Kieran Scott. Shadows Cast by Stars by Katherine Knutson. Diary of a Haunting by M. Verano. Envy by Greg Olson. The Maze Runner by James Dashner. I have two different copies of The Maze Runner, but I only have this book in the series. This one is signed. Entwined by Heather Dixon. Shapeshifter by Holly Bennett, the fourth book in the Vampire Academy series, Blood Promise by Rochelle Mead. I do not have the rest of the series, but I was given this book. I want to get the first one so that I can start reading it. Out of the Easy by Ruta Supetis, Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince by J.K. Rowling, The House on Stone's Throw Island by Tan Dan Pablocki. A Thousand Nights by E.K. Johnston, Red Queen by Victoria Aveyard, Fracture by Megan Miranda, and this is signed, Free Radicals, The Secret Anarchy of Science by Michael Brooks, and this is a non-fiction book, Eleanor and Park by Rainbow Rowell. Moving on down with this shelf, which is all blue, we have my little reverse flash black lantern pop, my classic television Catwoman pop, a little metal earth model of the Black Pearl ship, a Hot Topic exclusive Arkham Batman pop, and the classic television Batman pop, and this little metal model bridge with a picture of my nephew, Dragon Tears by Dean Koontz, which is my all-time favorite book, The Coldest Girl in Cold Town by Holly Black. First Love by James Patterson and Emily Raymond, which I got for Valentine's Day from my husband. Blaze by Richard Bachman, also known as Stephen King. Deep Blue by Jennifer Donnelly, the first book in this series. Geek Girl by Holly Smell. One Night That Changes Everything by Lauren Barnholt. Let It Snow by John Green, Maureen Johnson, and Lauren Miracle. Storm by Donna Jo Napoli, The Strange and Beautiful Sorrows of Ava Lavender by Leslie Walton, Passenger by Alexandra Bracken, Until We Meet Again by Renee Collins, which is signed, Promise of Shadows by Justina Ireland, Struck by Jennifer Bosworth, The Creeping by Alexandra Sirowi, The Selection by Kira Cass, the first book in the Selection series, I only have this one. On Little Wings by Regina Sorois, Sea Change by Amy Friedman, Renegade by J.A. Souders, the first book in this series, For a Divergent Collection by Veronica Roth, which is signed. Moving on to the rest of my blue and all of my purple book, we have my little glass polar bears figurine, which are my favorite animals, my Mulan Pop, my Mrs. Potts and Chip pops, and this silver sixpence, which was in my shoe for my wedding. So starting over here, we have three Doctor Who books, and this one is Dark Horizons by Jenny T. Colgan, Whoology by Kevin Scott and Mark Wright, and Doctor Who, How to Be a Time Lord Official Guide. Potter in the Order of the Phoenix, but it doesn't have the cover anymore, so I'm not going to pull it out. Give Up the Ghost by Megan Crew. I Survived the Nazi Invasion by Lauren Tarshish, Seven Souls by Barnabas Miller and Jordan Orlando, Dracula by Bram Stoker, the official Barnes & Noble edition, The Storyteller by Antonia Michaelis, Swoon, the first book in the Swoon duology by Nina Malkin, Infinite Sky by C.J. Flood, Etiquette and Espionage by Gail Carriger, the first book in the Finishing School series, Imperfect Spiral by Debbie Levy, 
Blythewood by Carol Goodman, the first book in the Blythewood trilogy. Bleeding Violet by Dia Reeves. Strangers by Dean Kuntz. Fulpies the Red Fox by Jean Craighead George and John George. Shifting by Bethany Wiggins. Something Strange and Deadly by Susan Dinnard. Meet Me at the River by Nina de Gramont. Nefertiti and Cleopatra by Julia Sampson, which is nonfiction. And The Real Princess Diaries by Grace Norwich. The next shelf is my white bookshelf. And I have a little metal bridge over here and my wooden TARDIS brooch from this month's Owl Crate. My Doctor Who 10th Doctor Pop which is David Tennant, my River Song Pop, which is Alex, Alex Kingston, and my GameStop exclusive Evolving Dalek Sec Pop. Starting here, we have the two books that my cousin loaned to me. She said they were her favorite, so we have Chill Factor and Mirror Image by Sandra Brown, Autumn Falls by Bella Thorne, the Fill-In Boyfriend by Casey West. Rush and Fever, the first two books in the Rush trilogy by Maya Banks. Chain Letter by Christopher Pike. Six Months Later and Gone Too Far by Natalie D. Richards. These are standalone novels. And The Program by Suzanne Young. Then we have the Thirst series, which consists of five books, and each of these are bind-ups. So we have Thirst Number 1, Human Urges and Fatal Consequences. Thirst Number 2, Deepest Desires and Instant Remorse. Thirst Number 3, the Reckless Behavior and Endless Pursuit. Thirst Number 4, Tortured Soul and Final Judgment. And Thirst Number 5, Ancient Secrets and Epic Retribution, all by Christopher Pike. This is a great vampire series if you're into that. Next is Relativity, the Special and General Theory by Albert Einstein, which is nonfiction. Between Shades of Grey by Ruta Supedis. Insomnia by Stephen King, which I don't have a dust jacket for. An Accidental Affair by Eric Jerome Dickey. Stolen A Letter to My Captor and The Killing Woods by Lucy Christopher. These are standalone novels. Sex and Violence by Carrie Masrobian. As I Wake by Elizabeth Scott. The Returning by Christine Henwood. The 15th Summer Trilogy by Michelle Dalton, 15th Summer, 16th Summer, and Pulled Under, a 16th Summer Novel, and Fear Nothing by Dean Koontz. So this next shelf is my whites, the rest of my whites, starting with my series, and my little pop is Jim Moriarty from Sherlock. I have a little metal tarantula. My Sherlock Holmes with his violin. This little hedgehog Christmas ornament. And two little Beanie Boo stuffed animals. We have Until It Hurts to Stop by Jennifer R. Hubbard. My Beautiful Failure by Janet Ruth Young. Dangerous Girls by Abigail Hass. The Summer of Chasing Mermaids by Sarah Ockler. The Revenant by Sonia Gensler. The To All the Boys I've Loved Before duology by Jenny Han, starting with To All the Boys I've Loved Before, and P.S. I Still Love You. We Were Liars by E. Lockhart. The Asylum trilogy by Madeleine Roops, starting with Asylum, Sanctum, and Catacomb. We have the first two books in the Illuminate trilogy by Amy Agresti, and these are translated from German, starting with Illuminate, and infatuate. Then we have the second and third book of the Life's a Witch trilogy. I thought the first one was Life's a Witch, but it's not. It's What the Spell, so I need that one. But we have Life's a Witch and The Witch is Back by Brittany Jerigotellis. And we have the Chantress trilogy by Amy Butler Greenfield, starting with Chantress, Chantress Alchemy, and Chantress Fury, which doesn't have a dust jacket. Then we have the If I Stay duology by Gail Foreman, If I Stay, and Where She Went. Then we have the first two books in the Teardrop series by Lauren Kate, starting with Teardrop and Waterfall. Starting down here, we have pretty much all of my hardcover books that are the same height and I can't find anywhere else for. We have Sinner by Maggie Stiefvater, which is a Wolves of Mercy Falls companion novel. 
Perfect Ruin, book one in the trilogy, I think it is, by Lauren Stefano. Dark Parties by Sarah Grant. Hashtag Scandal by Sarah Ockler. The Broken Hearted by Amelia Kahaney. The Hunger Games, the first book in the trilogy by Suzanne Collins. Next we have Rosebush by M Michelle Jaffe. Dollhouse by Courtney, Kim, and Chloe Kardashian. A Midsummer Night's Scream by R.L. Stein. Landry Park by Bethany Hagen. Dangerous Girls by R.L. Stein. Dear Life, You Suck by Scott Blagden. Fateful by Claudia Gray. Stay With Me by Paul Griffin. Two Way Street by Lauren Barnholt. Essential Tales and Poems by Edgar Allan Poe, the Barnes & Noble edition. Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell, which doesn't have a dust jacket. Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children, the first book in that trilogy by Ransom Riggs. The Murder of King Tut by James Patterson and Martin Dugard. It is a non-fiction thriller. And Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte, the Barnes & Noble edition. The next shelf over, we have some of my paperback books. These are mostly standalone novels. And we have my Ray Pop bobblehead from Star Wars The Force Awakens. We have my Darth Vader Unmasked bobblehead from Star Wars. And this Scooby-Doo Lighthouse Lego set that was built for me. We have Dare You To by Katie McGarry. Awake and The Cellar by Natasha Preston. These are standalone novels. The Escape by Hannah Jane. Drink Slay Love by Sarah Beth Durst. Looking for Alaska and Paper Towns by John Green. The Book Thief by Marcus Zusak. The House by Christina Lauren. Gray, Fifty Shades of Gray as Told by Christian by E.L. James. Lost in Me, the first book in the Here and Now trilogy by Lexi Ryan. Beastly by Alex Flynn. Strange Matters, Undiscovered Ideas at the Frontiers of Space and Time by Tom Siegfried, which is a non-fiction book about science. The Kite Runner by Khalid Hosseini. Vesper by Jeff Sampson. The Morganville Vampires, book number one, Glass Houses by Rachel Kane. Doctor Who Heroes and Monsters Collection. It's a collection of short stories by a bunch of different authors. The Unseen Number One, which is a bind up of It Begins and Rest in Peace by Richie Tinkersley Cusick. And these last two shelves are basically just all of the extra books that I have no room for anywhere else. First is Antony and Cleopatra by Colleen McCullough. Blind Sighted, Surviving a Grizzly Attack and Still Loving the Great Bear by Jim Cole. And A Piece of the Sun, The Quest for Fusion Energy by Daniel Clurry. Afterworlds by Scott Westerfeld. The Chronicles of Narnia Bind Up by C.S. Lewis. The Good Guy by Dean Koontz. See Jane Run by Joy Fielding. The Girl Who Was Supposed to Die by April Henry. The first two books in the No Safety in Numbers trilogy, No Safety in Numbers and No Easy Way Out by Dana Lawrence. Book number one and book number seven, I know it's random, of the Pretty Little Liars series, Pretty Little Liars and Heartless by Sarah Shepard. The one audiobook that I own is Ashley Bell by Dean Koontz. Then we have the Golden Compass trilogy by Philip Pullman, starting with The Golden Compass, The Subtle Knife, and The Amber Spyglass, The Matched Trilogy, starting with Matched, Crossed, and Reached, all by Ali Condi, and The Baxter Saga Book 1, Unchained Hearts, by Palessa. And lastly, on this shelf, we have all of my unfinished series and two hardcover books. So we have Red Queen and Black Knight by Christopher Pike. Books number one, three, and five of the Mortal Instruments series by Cassandra Clare. City of Bones, City of Glass, and City of Lost Souls. Then we have the prequel in the first book of the Throne of Glass series by Sarah J. Mass, The Assassin's Blade, and Throne of Glass. Book one of the Fury trilogy by Elizabeth Miles, which is Fury. 
We have the first book in the Testing Trilogy by Joelle Charbonneau, which is the testing. Half Bad, the first book in the Half Bad Trilogy by Sally Green. A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J. Mass, which is signed, and I will be doing a giveaway of this book, so you will have the chance to win it. And finally, Hooniverse, an unofficial planet-by-planet -planet guide to the universe of the Doctor from Gallifrey to Scarrow by Lance Parkin. Then this is starting on my series shelf. I think these are all completed except the last one. So the first series we have is the Darkest Minds trilogy, which consists of the Darkest Minds, Never Fade, In the Afterlight, and Through the Dark, which is a collection of novellas. But these make a sentence, which is so cool. And these all are by Alexandra Bracken. Next we have the Hush Hush Quartet by Becca Fitzpatrick, starting with Hush Hush, Crescendo, Silence, and Finale. Then we have the Mary Duology by Hilary Monaghan, consisting of Mary the Summoning and Mary Unleashed. Then we have the Unearthly Trilogy by Cynthia Hand, Unearthly, Hollowed, and Boundless. And then we have the Pledge Trilogy by Kimberly Durting, The Pledge, The Essence, and The Offering. And finally, we have all of the books in the Lunar Chronicles, except for the collection of novellas, which just came out. Cinder, Scarlet, Press, Fairest, and winter and all of these are wrapped because they are signed and personalized to me from when I met Marissa Meyer in November when winter came out. Moving on down we have more of my series and these first three right here are not finished but the rest of them to my knowledge are. First three books in the Tiger's Curse series which is Tiger's Curse, Tiger's Quest, and Tiger's Voyage. I did get to meet Colleen Hook, and she personalized and signed this for me, and I got a little seal. And I have the first two books in the Lion Game series, which is Lion Game and Never Have I Ever by Sarah Shepard. Next we have books one and two of the Splintered series by A.G. Howard, which is an Alice in Wonderland retelling that is splintered and unhinged. And then we have the Wolves of Mercy Falls trilogy by Maggie Stiefvater, or the Shiver trilogy, which consists of Shiver, Linger, and Forever. Then we have the Beautiful Creatures Quartet by Kimmy Garcia and Margaret Stoll, Beautiful Creatures. Beautiful Darkness, Beautiful Chaos, and Beautiful Redemption. And then we have the Fallen series by Lauren Kate, which is Fallen, Torment, Passion, Rapture, and Fallen in Love. And then we have the Land of Stories series by Chris Culver. Number one, The Wishing Spell, The Enchantress Returns, A Grim Warning, Beyond the Kingdoms, and the two novellas, The Mother Goose Diaries and Queen Red Riding Hood's Guide to Royalty. I had the honor of meeting Chris Colfer in Denver, which is close to where I live, and I got all of my books signed, except for the two novellas. The final shelf on my bookshelf is all of my Stephen King books and my one Dean Koontz book that I didn't have anywhere else to put. First we have Mr. Murder by Dean Koontz. Dreamcatcher by Stephen King, Doctor Sleep, Bag of Bones, Everything's Eventual, and Desperation, all by Stephen King. And then we have The Regulators by Richard Bachman, aka Stephen King, Rose Matter, Dolores Claiborne, and Misery, all by Stephen King, Duma Key, Storm of the Century, The Dark Half, Cujo by Stephen King. Then we have Gerald's Game and Wolves of the Kala, which is the Dark Tower series number five by Stephen King. It's the only one in that series that I own. And lastly, we have Black Houses by Stephen King and Peter Straub, Nightmares and Dreamscapes by Stephen King, and the very last book is Needful Things by Stephen King. So up here we have my Harry Potter shelf. 
we have my little Titanic metal model. Harry Potter box set of the Hogwarts castle. And we have my Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone illustrated edition. And all of my Harry Potter hardcover books. And I'm not gonna pull all of them out because you probably know what they look like, but I will pull these ones out for you so that you can see because they're pretty awesome. Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix, Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince, and Harry Potter and the Deathly Hollows. I love these covers. They are just the coolest. So that is all for my bookshelf tour. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, give it a thumbs up, and comment down below. Let me know what you think of it, and... If you've done a bookshelf tour, leave that link so I can go watch yours. Yeah, thank you for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!